Hey, what's up YouTube? Today we're going to go ahead and put the head gaskets, heads on, and torque head studs down. Stick around. For this setup, we're going to use uh, just the OEM head gaskets for it. Make sure that the entire surface on the, the block and the heads are like extremely clean. Like no oil, no residue, no dirt, no debris, anything like that. <clears throat> uh, I usually wipe uh, the, head, the head surface and the uh, block, the deck surface. Uh, usually like wipe it down really good with degreaser, let it dry, and then come back and spray a little brake clean on a rag and like wipe around with that too. So but these uh, head gaskets, they only go one way. <clears throat> uh, the passenger side or bank two has this weird uh, like flat here for the cool main, uh, main coolant passage from the water pump. And you can see all these bottom holes here, those passages, everything only goes one way so you can't really mess this up all right so gas get on now we're gonna drop drop the head on just line up the dial pins and it's that easy these uh this build we're using uh, l19 <coughs> head studs you want to use gloves with these um, the, the L19s are real uh, susceptible to like corrosion. ARP lube goes a long way. Don't put any on the uh, the end that goes into the into the block. Um, you want the nut to spin on the uh, end of the head stud. You don't want the head stud spinning in the in the block itself. <clears throat> Alright, now we're back gloveless again here. <clears throat> um, so yeah, at this point we'll just take our uh, all of our washers here and uh, Andy sees just the top. Only the only the top side where the nut is gonna touch it. Because um, again, you don't want you don't want the uh, washer spinning on the on the aluminum on the head and galling it, damaging it. So. All right, so another little pointer here. There's a little shoulder down in these uh, holes where these washers will sit. Make sure that you push these washers down to where they sit inside the shoulder, not on the edge, because like this one. This one is trying to sit on the edge. It's trying to sit on the edge of one of these shoulders. There, see how it popped in there like that? got to watch that because if you torque it down like that, you're not going to have the correct uh, yield applied to the stud, so pay close attention to that. And just take your, uh, your nuts, get them started. Some of these these nuts might be a little tricky too. You might have to uh, like that one. See that one kind of dropped in the hole a little bit. Just get it on top. Once you get it on top, it's not so bad.
some of these are a little tricky to get started but once you get them started you can use uh you can use a drill to, uh, like on a really low torque setting just to run them down to touch them off I don't know uh, you're going to be applying a lot more torque than what a drill on a low setting can apply anyway so you don't have to worry about over torquing anything all right so you know I'm not pulling your leg here. We'll run them all down with the drill here. <laughs> when I torque these head studs, um, <clears throat> Go in five steps instead of three. <clears throat> so these are L19s. I'll torque these a little bit higher than what most people would. Um, I'll do uh, 105 foot pounds. That'll be my final do is start at 20 we'll go 20 40 60 80 and then 105 and we'll do we'll do your uh, your star pattern here just like you see me do with the drill I mean, you don't have to overthink this. Treat this just like you would treat this, uh, this just like you would a, a tire or, or a rim or something like that. And when you get to the end, the ends here, just do both on the ends and then cross back to the other end. main stud kit is the, this is the, the windage tray this keeps the oil from splashing up and hitting the crankshaft um, so we do you line up these hole the bolt holes <clears throat> and you'll you notice how it's sitting a little bit higher everywhere everywhere but what it's doing is sitting on these studs these main studs because uh, from the factory there are main bolts so the very highest point is basically where these nuts are at so the, there's an extra like five eighths of an inch sticking up so what you'll do is everywhere that you see where a stud is going to hit just kind of put you a little little mark we'll trim all of these spots to where they uh They clear the main studs and it can sit all the way flat. All right, let's try it again. Yeah, and that's it. Not the bolt holes, everything's clear. So, through our bolts, uh, this is where the 10 millimeter nightmare begins. this down all right so I'll torque all these little bolts to uh, nine foot-pounds all right so next we will throw the, uh, the oil pump on just line up slot on the crankshaft and our couple down pins three bolts for this throw those three bolts in we 
very next thing you need to do, there are uh, two uh, O-ring surfaces here. Make sure you put your O-rings in place on both of those spots. Make sure they're clean. And now we'll move on to the uh, the uh, upper. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, upper oil pan. Now for the next step, I do this a little bit differently than the book shows. The book uh, pretty much wants you to put uh, the front or the front and rear timing covers on and all the timing components to keep uh, this this surface here straight with the bottom of those. But I like to do the uh, upper oil pan first because you put the upper oil pan across here, it sticks over the front side, and you're you're going to be perfectly lined up with your uh, front and rear timing covers. You know, you're you're bolting them down to this upper pan here. So this is how I like to do it. Dial pins. Yeah, and those of you who uh, pay close attention probably noticed uh, the previous previous part that I, uh, I left out these surrounding bolts for the uh, lower cylinder block. But the reason I do that is so I can torque all these bolts at the same time. All right, the next part here, we'll uh, go ahead and install the oil pump pickup. There's no O-rings or anything. This is just a, just a uh, metal to metal surface. Yeah, we got the engine rotated back over and uh, yeah, the next video we'll probably start working on the valve train and maybe the uh, front timing uh, components, so stick around. Till next time.